if you're a big fan of ChatGPT4 and you would like to know more, this video is best for you. We will cover a dozen of features that really ChatGPT is now on it and, and, and it's really going crazy these days on the internet with ChatGPT4. This will make our computer life and everything much easier, productive and fun. The very first feature that you really should see and really should feel is the picture. Now you can shoot a picture or you can take a picture and ChatGPT4 can explain it for you. You may use for maybe a scientific reason or maybe it's research or maybe study for anything. You can use it to learn, you can use it to grow for anything you can use and you can ask ChatGPT to explain it for you and to find solution. This can be very good handy when it comes to problem solving. Let's see one result and one example through the ChatGPT picture and new feature. So right now, as you can see, we're gonna go and choose a ChatGPT4 over here. As you can see, we have dozen of uh, options over here. For now, we would like to just go with default and to see what really has in here, to really see what we have over here. The little picture icon, and we're gonna choose a picture. Let's say I'm gonna pick up a, uh, a movie picture over here from my gallery, okay? And now I will say, explain it to me. Explain it to me. And now we're gonna send. Now, ChatGPT will really understand it and it'll give us some hint of what it is. So it says a show, the last one on the earth. So it gives a lot of a lot of details about it, which is kind of cool, right? And you can, of course, this you can use for problem solving. Uh, you can, um, overall, ChatGPT speaks with you with the picture and with the, with the research and all of that. You can use it for problem solving. Since I personally love ChatGPT, I'm gonna use it on, I'm gonna use it for learning. We have other options as well. We can take pictures immediately, okay? And we can really ask ChatGPT to explain it for us. Okay, let's really uh, take a picture from my light. All right, so I'm gonna take a picture from my light as a nonsense picture. So I will say, what is it? What is it? And then we will send. Now let's see what really it is. So I pictured from a light. So it says a uh, light colored material, possibly fabric or so it is very intelligent. That's the first feature that I covered. Now I used for nonsense stuff, but make sure you use for cool and um, goal-based stuff, uh, maybe learning purposes or teaching purposes or research or scientific. Uh, overall, you can use for academic purposes as well. So that's it, we got it over here. Oh, that's a spam. And we have also a file where we can we can attach things. Uh, we can choose from our file manager. Uh, let's do this one, all right? Or let's do this one. Open. Now this is the same thing, and it'll be doing the same thing. So we won't do this now. The next one that we will really be eager to see is the new feature that we can ask ChatGPT uh, to create a picture for us. So this feature called uh, Dilly, I guess. So I'm not very good at pronunciation of that name, but let's see, we're gonna go a new chat and we're gonna say Dilly. So let's say, uh, uh, okay, paint a, a beautiful spring. So let's see what it really does. So writing prompts now, and we will just wait for some time. This is the same thing as web, so you can access it through the phone or through the uh, phone, through the web or anywhere, and it's gonna be the same thing. So uh, there's no uh, there's no really barriers now, so you can use it anywhere, anytime. Except this may not be launch launching soon in your country. So if you are like maybe not in North America or Europe, 
uh, this may be a little bit of delay I guess or I don't know so we got a beautiful beautiful spring pictures right over here now we can really uh, put this as a, on a, on a, on a, as a wallpaper which is kind of cool now we can ask uh, we can ask ChatGPT to draw and picture anything uh, but make sure not to ask for explicit things okay because it's gonna ignore you okay the next one is conversation and have you ever wanted someone to talk with or maybe a particularly a robot or maybe a human being and you feel lonely well now you're covered we have a video we have a conversation model that we can talk and she and he or she will speak to us now first thing first you gotta choose your actor so we're gonna go and we're gonna say settings and we're gonna say voice now we have dozen of voice let's see which one is the best So this is a man, clearly, if you cannot hear, I can hear. Hey, it's great to meet you. How's your day going? This is a man. So this is a lady. I'm going to pick up the lady one. We're going to say, confirm. Now, in the conversation, there's a little uh, ear phone a your earphone button we're going to click on that now as you can see we have a very cool animations hi this is Jan I'm gonna introduce I'm gonna introduce myself to you nice to meet you who is who is it hello Jan it's great to meet you I'm chat GPT a virtual assistant here to help and answer questions it sounds like you're involved with animations Cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Tell me more about the animations you work on or any other topics you'd like to discuss. No, uh, I really I really don't like animations. I like talk head videos. I like to talk to people. Got it, Jim. My apologies for misunderstanding earlier. No problem. Talking head videos can be quite engaging. So she asked me to uh, apologize for it enjoy conversations and connecting with people how can i assist you further in relation to talking head videos or any other topic you'd like to discuss that's it for now that's it for now so i will quit now and i will exit the app i will get back to you once i finish recording and i'm in the middle of something okay it has a cool thing in it. understood Jeanette. best of luck with your recording Whenever you're ready or have any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, she didn't reply anything. You're welcome, Jan. If you ever want to chat or have questions in the future, just drop by. Sure. Sure, bye. All right, that's it. So we got and covered a lot of things in ChatGPT, uh, version, phone version or any, this is gonna be the same thing. Of course, we will have a lot of things to cover like browsing with the Bing. Uh, when it comes to web application, there will be much more of different, uh, different options, but you will see definitely the same thing. Uh, we will talk about it in the next video, not for today. I won't take your lo time longer, but for now, just wait for that excitement availability of features in your own application. See you in the next video.